Yeah, well, Chrissy Diaz following the back and forth for us from the state capitol. And Chrissy, a big point of contention is the MLB All-Star Game. You heard the governor there mention baseball and talks about moving the event from Cobb County are not off the table, right? I think everything's on the table right now, Sheba. In fact, MLB Player Association Director uh, Tony Clark told the Boston Globe that it is worth discussing. And these players' words have power. We've seen that in the past. Back in 2017, the NBA moved its All-Star Game from Charlotte after North Carolina signed the bathroom bill, which was highly controversial. And even though Clark says they haven't had this conversation about moving the game yet, he says if they have the opportunity Opportunity. He looks forward to having the conversation and players are pretty fired up over the changes in this new law, which limits absentee voting and drop boxes and strengthens ID requirements. But Cobb County Chairwoman Lisa Cupid from Cobb County says she asked the union not to push for the move, saying the law does not reflect the local leaders feelings. So here's both sides. It's one of the biggest things that we do as Americans is to vote. If anything is as far as rigging, um, that's the closest thing that you can get to rigging. We have heard you loud and clear, and I ask that you use your voice to help us have a conversation during the All-Star Game that addresses inclusiveness within our state and within our county. Obviously, there would be economic impacts if the game leaves Cobb County, and Cupid hopes that it'll stay and help the recovering economy in Cobb amid the pandemic. Right now, the game is still scheduled for Truist Park in July. Sheba. Christy, thank you. And a second lawsuit has now been filed asking a judge to block Georgia's election law. Advocacy groups claiming it violates the Constitution and the Voting Rights Act. Republicans arguing the new restrictions ensure voter integrity. Now, State Representative Park Cannon is one of many opposing this law. Less than 24 hours ago, she returned to work at the state capitol after being arrested last Thursday for knocking on the governor's executive door as he was signing the bill into law. The arrest causing an outcry from her supporters here and across the country. Representative Cannon arriving alongside Martin Luther King III and dozens of other supporters, many of them wearing I Stand With Park t-shirts. She was also wearing a sling on her left arm. And while she didn't speak, her lawyer says that he believes the charges, two felonies against her will be dropped and a wrongful arrest lawsuit is likely.